Hello, I'm continuing on this series on physical body. And today I want to give you three points that are going to be instrumental in this whole physical body um, area for you. And we're going to talk about workouts. So what I wanted to say about workouts, we have, you have, I have a certain connotation, a certain image that comes to mind when we say the word workout. So um, whatever that is, wipe that clean. Because a lot of times that's going to set you up for a fail. If you think of a workout as a strenuous hour long in the gym, pumping iron, you know, it's going to be discouraging right off the bat. So the first point I want to cover is just move. Consider a workout just moving, just moving, just doing something, some kind of movement. So that's number one. Number two, start tiny. So anything that you're going to do around a quote unquote workout or movement, start tiny. Depending on where you are, that's how you determine what tiny is. Like right now I do work out six hours or six days a week now, three cardio and three weight training, three days of weight training, and I'm at a good level. Well, maybe you want to get there. Well, well, just make it tiny. What can you do? Maybe you start off one day a week cardio if you're not doing anything and one day weight training. That's the key is start off tiny. Don't try to bite off more than you can chew. You can even make it tinier by just cutting down the minutes. You may say just five minutes. Start off with five minutes, whatever it may be, to make it tiny. And the third point is listen to your body. No matter where you're at on your exercise journey, don't do what I did and, and power through situations. Listen to your body. Your body is giving you warning signs for a reason. So pay attention. If your body is giving you a warning sign, get in touch with. There's, there's a tons of people out there on the internet community. Our community is great about you sharing those concerns and people can speak into you. So that's it for today. We'll see you next time.